Oh, basically, we're gonna get on our bikes and ride. <laughs> At mock speed, hopefully. The day has finally arrived for the team start of the race across America. These teams have been preparing for a year or more and are eager to hit the starting line. They're lining up now where they will set off at one minute intervals. Let's see how the first day plays out as they cross the state of California. The starting line is located just steps away from the Pacific Ocean. From here, the riders will climb to over 4,000 feet of elevation within just a few hours. Hanging in there? Yeah, yeah, we are. I flatted back there on my first pull, 1.5 miles in. Had to swap bikes, but it's all good now. We're rolling. Each team have their own strategy, but they all switch riders throughout the day. Some teams have specific riders good at climbing, and others excel at descents. That last three miles was tough, but it, it was it was flowing really good. I knew that once I got to the top, somebody else was going to take over. I don't mind climbs. I don't like the descent, so it's working out good. This section is known as the glass elevators, as riders descend the steep, twisty 10-mile stretch of road. Currently leading the women's division is the four-person team Velarus from Australia. We caught Natasha Horn as she flew past us down the glass elevator. As the sun sets on the first day of the race, the teams ride into the night. I'm Tara Roberts in Thermal, California for the Race Across America.